What's up YouTube, it's your boy Michael, and in this video we're going to talk about how to build really clean UI. Now I'm no designer, but I've sort of figured out a formula and a set of tools and component libraries that I've merged together that allow me to build really simple and clean uh, UIs for my front end. So I'm going to tell you these three component libraries, the first two you know, the third one you probably never heard of, and then I'm going to show you how I put these all together in a project that I'm actually working on. So first and foremost, we have Shad CNUI. Like I don't have to say much. This is one of the best component libraries. Accessibility, check. Looking good, check. Gives you the code so you just don't have to install packages that you don't know how they work, check. And they recently launched the uh, blocks. I did a video about this. If you're not subscribed, you should. Um, and blocks are basically pre-built pages using the components of Shad CNUI. So, you know, dashboards can be a little annoying to get right. You could just copy the code from the Shad CNUI website, right? For example, if I want this dashboard right here, like I built something similar to this all by myself and it was kind of annoying. I could just copy the code here, paste it, and I have access to this now. So Shad CNUI, I would say, is my main, uh, is my, like uh, what I use for components mostly. Right, so for buttons, nav bar, anything of that nature, I'm going to use Shad CNUI. So let me put number one, I use Shad CNUI. Now, number two is a Saturnity. I still don't know how to pronounce that properly, so forgive me. Now, this component library I use for the fancy dancing, you know, to make it look clean, to make it look spicy, to make it look nice, you know, nice clean animations. And honestly, my go to for, um, as Saturnity is the tracing beam like block style page. And I'll show you where I've used this. I just love that tracing beam is just really good. And in the same way with Shatsy and in the same spirit, all you have to do is just copy paste the code. There's actually nothing for you to install other than the dependencies, which are frame or motion and tailwind merge, right? So I'll use something like tracing beam. And then let's see, I'll use tracing beam. Now, I've never used these background beams, but these look really nice. Now, the bento grid. The bento grid is where it's at. Bento grids are just hot right now, and I'll be honest, they look very clean and nice. And this is one of the best bento grid components I've ever seen. So I'll use the bento grid. So as eternity is kind of my, like, you know, let's make things spicy. Let's make things animated and cool and fresh and 2024-ish, right? So that's my second building my tool to build components so i'll ask uh, how do you spell this turn it so as eternity ui now third this is a not known library um, or you guys might know it it's hyper ui.dev now hyper ui.dev i use for those things that um chat scene or as eternity don't have but are ne necessary for example footers right uh, like i don't want to spend time working on a good footer, Hyper UI just has it there, right? They have different styles where it's like just links and then a newsletter sign up. And like they have different variations, different styles. And the thing I like about um, Hyper UI in the same way, they give you access to the code. If you want HTML, you get the HTML. If you want the JSX, you can get the JSX. This is just HTML. So again, you have full control, full access, and they have a lot of um a lot of components right there's a lot of good stuff here so let's say let's look at headers right so uh, nav bars essentially so there's a this is a clean nav bar right here you could use this instead of building one custom using chat and ui or stats i've used this before just like a page on a like this section on a landing page that just shows numbers i've used this before what else let's see oh error pages so like a clean 404 again you could do this yourself but I, I i want to move fast when i'm shipping especially in mvp so these are the component libraries i use and i put together so when you mix let's see testimonials yep i actually might use this because i need to write build testimonial cards which is funny so hyper ui is very very clean very simple simplistic straight up html there's a lot more stuff that um I'm not sure, for example, grids, again, if you're not a, a, a grid whiz, you can use that, auth forms, again, a very nice clean sign up page. So Hyper UI is one of those low key libraries that I really enjoy and I use if there's anything that Shatsian and Ass Eternity 
don't give me access to. In particular, stuff like footers um, and stuff like that. So I'll put hyper UI. These three tools, component libraries, whatever you want to call them, is what I use to build really clean, simple UI. And I'll give you an example. This is a side project I'm working on right now called rankboost.ai. If you watched my SEO heist video, this is essentially what it is. So let me just give you a rundown. So I used uh, Shatsian to make the nav bar, right? Um, I used Ace Eternity for the bento grid, right? You can see the bento grid very nice and clean. The pricing cards, actually, I will hook you guys up right now. There is a component used. Uh, there was someone who created like a pricing page using ShatCN. Oh, this one right here. I'll have this linked in the description. Um, I basically used this right here. I just copied this code. It's very clean, very simple. Nice little animation. Use a ShatCN. So cannot complain with that. And then Accordion. Again, this is ShatCN. And then the footer is hyper UI. So again, I use all these tools in combination. And then when you go to the dashboard side, again, most of this is chat CN, like most of these cards. Oh, well, the cards, I, I just used the card component. And I built it off that. But again, I use chat CN as the main component layer. And then I use Saturnity to clean up, uh, not clean up, but like have animations, make things look nice and stuff like that. For example, if you look at the methodology page, you can see the tracing beam uh, like following as you scroll, which is very, very nice, very elegant, very clean. And then a hyper UI for any of those things that these libraries miss, like the basics, like a footer um, or sometimes a sp specific type of pop-up or alert, I will use hyper UI for. So that's essentially what I use. Shatsy and UI, Asaternity UI, and Hi Hyper UI. I'm by no means a designer. I do want to learn like design because I think design to like is sort of objective. Like you can tell when something's good and something's not. I know art is in the eye of the beholder, but I think design is different in that sense. So I'd like to learn more. But until then, that's not going to stop me from shipping good looking, simplistic uh, web applications. And this is my toolkit Shatsy and UI. As Eternity UI and Hyper UI. And when I'm done with my Rank Boost project, I will do a code review and show you how I put all these things together. I'm still finishing this up, which is why I have not uh, shown you guys the code. But that's pretty much it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. 90% of you who are watching are not subscribed, so please let's change that. Hit the notification bell as well as you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.